Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Lady Astrologer. My name is Rarat Kapoor. In my channel, I make videos on Vedic Astrology and the upcoming transits. I have recently made a video on the month of April and also on Venus's exalted transit and sign of Pisces. In the recent times, I have also made a video on 2024 predictions for all the ascendant as well as moon signs. And you can check out those videos on my YouTube channel to see how the year goes for you. In case you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, share this video with your friends. And in case you wish to book a personalized consultation with me, you can check out the link to my website in the comment section and the process of reaching out to me. This video today is about the most important and the most vital transit of the year, which is the transit of planet Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter is moving out from the sign of Aries, where it has been in transit for the last one year. And on 1st of May, it will enter the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Shukra or Venus. And Jupiter is going to stay in the sign of Taurus till 14th of May, 2025. Jupiter makes a transit for about an year in one particular sign. Last time it was in transit in the sign of Taurus was in 2012, about 12 years ago. And before that, this transit was in the year 2000. Now, there is a commonality between the year 2000 and the year 2012. Now, that commonality is that in both the years, there was some kind of fear that was there in the normal people or the general public. I mean, if you recall your experiences, the very first year of the 21st century, moving from 1999 to 2000, uh, end of a decade, starting of a new era. So there was a lot of fear around technology and how systems will adapt, how calendars would really adapt and change. And people were also living under the fear, which was gradually resolved. And in 2012, there was another fear that people had, a lot of people had in common was the end of the world. In 2012, most people were of the opinion that the world is going to come at the end, but it didn't happen. I mean, towards the end of the year, it was all normal. Uh, the differentiating factor this time is, and this is very important for us to know and understand. In the year 2000, Jupiter was conjoined with Saturn. And in the year 2012, Jupiter was conjoined K2. So there was certain amount of affliction or influence that was there on Jupiter during those years. And towards the end of the year, when K2 moved out of the sign and Jupiter was left alone, this was the time when the conjunction broke. This was the time when Jupiter was free from any malefic influence and the world was absolutely normal and everyone felt safe and secure. That was like the end of fear and people felt quite relaxed as well. Now, before I talk about some general interpretations and then I will move on to talk about how this transit is going to have an impact on all 12 ascendant signs as well as the moon signs. Let's understand the key dates that are involved in this transit. Jupiter is going to enter the sign of Taurus on 1st of May 2024. Jupiter is going to stay there till 14th of May 2025. Now, during this transit, Jupiter is going to go retrograde for 119 days. Jupiter goes retrograde nearly about one third of its transit. On 9th of October 2024, Jupiter is going to go retrograde in the sign of Taurus. And on 4th of February 2025, it will go direct in the sign of Taurus as well. So this retrograde and direct motion is happening within this sign. Now the good news is throughout the transit, Jupiter is under no malefic influence. Currently in Aries, Jupiter is being aspected by Saturn. And when it moves to Taurus, this aspect is over and it has no malefic influence of any of the other planets, most of the part during this transit. Of course, it will come in contact with some of the other planets like Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, but it does not have any malefic influence of Saturn, Rahu or Ketu during this time, which is a good relief for all of us. From now till 13th of June, Jupiter continues to transit in Kritika Nakshatra. This Nakshatra is ruled by Sun, Surya. During this time, till about 13th of June, wherever the sign of Aries falls in your chart is likely to demonstrate some sort of positive results which are associated to Jupiter's signification, which is knowledge, wisdom, higher learning, teaching, and having a sense of maturity in anything that you do. On 13th of June, it will make a transit in Rohini Nakshatra and it will stay in this Nakshatra till 20th of August. Rohini Nakshatra is ruled by 
moon and during this time wherever a sign of Taurus falls in your chart is likely to demonstrate some sort of positive results in terms of Jupiter's related significations and on 20th of August it will transit through Mrigashira nakshatra and it is going to stay in Mrigashira nakshatra till 28th of November. This nakshatra is ruled by Mars or Mangal. During this time wherever the sign of Capricorn falls in your chart is likely to demonstrate positive results because this is where Mars or Mangal gets exalted. Now Taurus as a sign is ruled by Venus or Shukra. So from a nature perspective it is an inimical sign to Jupiter. Therefore Jupiter does not feel the most comfortable in the sign of Venus or Shukra. However, it is the natural second house of the zodiac belt or the Kala Purusha Kundli and Jupiter is the significator of the second house. Jupiter signifies second house, fifth house, ninth house and the eleventh house. Based on Brihad Parashar Hora Shastra, it has been given significations of four important houses of the chart which means one third of the houses in the chart are greatly impacted by Jupiter. So from a signification point of view, it is quite a good transit. Now point to be noted that the nakshatras Jupiter is going to be transiting through are ruled by Sun, Moon and Mars. So these are all friendly nakshatras as far as Jupiter is concerned. So in order to read this transit you need to check the placement of Venus, how the kind of role it plays, how Sun, Moon and Mars are placed in your chart during this time. Therefore the results could be determined in a very holistic manner. Now let's try and understand what second house or the sign of Taurus means. The sign of Taurus has two rulers. This is a special sign in the zodiac belt which is ruled by Venus as well as Moon. Yes, because Moon is exalted till 3 degrees in Taurus and after that it becomes its Moon Tricona sign. So you need to look up to Moon because Moon and Jupiter share a friendly relationship. This sign also represents Shri which means beauty. It is a significator of beauty and plays a very important role in all the wonderful things that exist in life. Jupiter is knowledge and wisdom. So this is the time for you to ensure that your knowledge and wisdom is beautiful over the next one year. That should be the focus of the hour. Second house also represents consumption and this is the most important point for us to understand in a general sense that applies to everyone and Jupiter signifies knowledge, wealth. It is wealth of knowledge. This is what the real wealth is. Jupiter is the teacher, Guru, Brihaspati. It signifies higher learning. It also signifies teacher. Jupiter is the Karaka for Dharma. Jupiter is about everything that is right in the world. Jupiter is Jivas, plays a very important role in our sustenance in order to exist in this world. In case of an afflicted Jupiter, there is a direct impact on all the human beings. Therefore, Jupiter is in a very strong transit. It is the significator of this house. It is going through friendly nakshatras. Most of the time, it is free from any malefic influence during this transit. A common message which is important for everyone this time is about consumption of knowledge, consumption of wealth. That means accumulation of wealth. Second house also represents family, those people who you would like to protect. Leveraging your knowledge, abilities and who you are, your wisdom and maturity. Bringing that together and improving things in your house within your family for their protection. Now from consumption we also look at food here. There is a high probability because Jupiter is a Satvic planet and it is making a transit in the natural second house of Taurus. This transit for the next one year could see a huge shift in vegetarianism or veganism and people might move a lot in plant-based diet or plant-based nutrition and there could be some breakthrough scientific developments in this space. There could be some extraordinary research or some analysis that we might be enriched with and there could be a significant shift of dietary requirements of people and there is high probability of large number of people to move to more of sattvic food, plant-based food, vegetarian, becoming a vegetarian or a vegan. In a general sense, during this transit, we also must be conscious about what we consume, what we eat. Jupiter also represents gold 
and it is making a transit in the natural second house of zodiac belt i do suspect and anticipate gold prices to continue to rise over the next few weeks particularly from now till august september there could be a steep increase as far as gold prices are concerned we've seen the trend it is increasing and i don't see this increase to come at any halt or a stop remember one thing jupiter is real wealth second house is what we consume so it is an optimum time to earn accumulate wealth of all kinds whether it is material wealth but jupiter primarily represents the wealth of knowledge of course it will play an important role in terms of expanding the significations of this house the results would be dependent on where the sign of taurus falls in your chart the kind of lordship jupiter has in your chart and its natal placement now during this transit jupiter will be aspecting three signs or this could be houses in your chart as well jupiter aspects fifth from its position seventh from its position and ninth from its position the fifth and the ninth aspect are special aspects where jupiter has 100% drishti or 100% aspect the seventh aspect is only 50% as far as the effect is concerned fifth and the ninth aspect are called jnana drishti it is all about knowledge it is all about wisdom its fifth aspect is about protection of the knowledge related to that particular house and its ninth aspect is about opportunities related to knowledge related to gain of knowledge and how you are going to learn and at the same time how you are going to apply and where you are going to apply this knowledge in order to achieve maximum benefit from this knowledge so jupiter during this transit is aspecting the sign of virgo by its fifth aspect the sign of scorpio and the sign of capricorn ninth aspect is on the sign of capricorn which is natural 10th house of the kalpursha kundli it's a very clear message that this year jupiter's transit one must be very much focused towards knowledge related to their karma sthan or we see job profession what you do in order to survive in this world from the 10th house it is an optimum time for upskilling and putting those skills in practice so that you can progress as far as your workplace related success is concerned another important advice that i'd like to give here is jupiter whenever it is making a transit in the second house it is also an indication of someone who is a guru and it is also an indication that this planet is doing a kind of loyalty test on individuals it is testing your loyalty as far as your celibacy is concerned as far as your ethics are concerned as far as your relationship matters are concerned and particularly things associated or related to your family is concerned things are going to be put at test your trust is at stake your relationships are really at stake so this is a kind of message that this transit is also giving now interestingly scorpio sign is under a great influence of both jupiter and saturn during this time because it will be jointly aspected by jupiter and saturn by double transit so wherever the sign of scorpio falls in your chart you must pay careful attention to it and see how it works over the next few weeks and see the kind of results it could deliver in the next few weeks for the sign of scorpio wherever it falls in your chart the house it represents so this is how you will read it now as far as predictions for all the ascendant as well as moon signs are concerned who is going to have the maximum impact of this transit in case you running through a dasha antadasha pratantadasha where jupiter is playing a role saturn is playing a role where venus is playing a role sun moon and mars are playing a role you are likely to be impacted by this transit if you have any key planets in the sign of taurus in the sign of virgo scorpio or in the sign of capricorn and if you're running through their dasha antadasha spatanda dasha you are likely to be impacted by this transit in a hugely hugely positive way mark my words whoever has planets in these signs if you're running through dasha antadasha patanta dasha by the aspect or conjunction of jupiter with your natal grahas during this time you're likely to achieve huge benefits because jupiter's placement and aspect works best when it is under least negative influence and this is the kind of time which is there now let's try and understand how this transit is going to have an impact on all 12 ascendant signs or the moon signs at a physical level you must read this transit from your ascendant sign and at the mental level you can read this transit from your moon sign as well let's start with aries ascendants for aries ascendants this jupiter is making a transit in your second house jupiter for aries ascendants is the ruler of the 9th house and the 12th house the ruler of dharma 
fortune, father, father figure, long distance travel. The house that plays a very important role in lineage. It is the Bhagyasthan. It is very much dependent on your luck or fortune in general and how it will play a role. It is the most important trinal house. Therefore, Jupiter becomes your Bhagyesha, a very important planet. Jupiter also rules your 12th house of expenditure, of losses, of spiritual quotient of your overall self-belief and also self-consciousness. This is what the 12th house represents. It is the Moksha Bhava. It is also the Vyaya Bhava. So Jupiter plays an important role for Aries Ascendant and it is making a transit in the second house of wealth, the Dhan Bhava. We also see what we consume from the second house. This is the house of consumption also the house of protection in terms of those people who we like to protect and that begins from our family and therefore this is where we see family from second house is also the house of speech because it is connected to your mouth so you eat you speak and things that you do from your mouth jupiter is the significator and it is going to bring a kind of wisdom eloquence and a lot of knowledge in terms of whatever you say or share over the next few months. Now this transit, you must understand that I am making a prediction that should apply between May through September because after that Jupiter is going to go retrograde. So things will be very different. So I'm going to make a video then and post that when Jupiter goes direct. Again, there will be a differentiated signification. So this transit is going to work in these three parts. So this part is about May through September, how it is going to have an impact on Aries ascendants. From a transit perspective, this is a placement of Jupiter where it is the significator of the second house and it is making a transit in the second house. So it is definitely going to expand the significations of the second house matters. It is creating a natural Dhan Yoga in transit. Now this Dhan Yoga is because the ninth Lord is making a transit in the second house, which is forming a Lakshmi Yoga. So in case you need a remedy during this time or you have a weak Venus in your chart, you must worship Shakti, Durga or any form of Durga. You can worship Lakshmi as well in order to get some support as far as wealth creating opportunities for yourself is concerned. Those who work with foreigners or people from foreign lands, they can likely be benefited over the next few months as far as wealth and income related matters are concerned. And particularly if you were to make any investment outside of your country or outside of your homeland or in foreign markets or internationally, this could be a potentially favorable time for you. Also, if there are any travel opportunities that come your way, which are very much focused in terms of two things. Either, either it's a family leisure trip, it is going to bring in a lot of joy. Secondly, if it is about income related opportunities, that could also be a potentially favorable time for you. Now, Jupiter has been transiting in your ascendant all the while. I mean, one of the advice that I always give to people is to watch their weight and take care of what they consume and eat. And that is again, one of the remedy which you have is you need to continue to focus having a very healthy and a well-balanced diet, I would say. So watch what you eat. Be very conscious about things. Do not overindulge yourself because otherwise you'll be spoiling this Jupiter's transit. Jupiter will naturally bring some sort of wisdom and softness and more politeness in your speech and how you deal with others. So you need to leverage that in Dharma, in fortune and be the protector of your Dharma during this time. Because there is also a caveat. Jupiter is also said to be suffering from Karko Bhavanasha, which means it is the significator of the second house. It is making a transit to the second house and it is all alone. So when it is alone, it will have some of these significations being negatively impacted as well. This would mean that you will still require to have and put a great amount of effort if you were to earn wealth. But if you're looking forward to getting an increment, getting a rise or creating a new source of income, or having a profitable growth as far as the remainder year is concerned in case your Dasha, Anta Dasha is supportive, you can expect some very good results during this transit. But as a remedy, make sure that you are soft with people, make sure that you're polite and you do not overindulge yourself in anything that you do. So mantras related to Jupiter, mantras related to Durga or any form of Shakti during this time would be highly 
highly highly beneficial for you and this is the kind of remedy which you must have your sixth house your eighth house and the tenth house by its fifth seventh and the ninth aspect now what jupiter is trying to give you a kind of message by its fifth aspect on the sign of virgo which is the sixth house in your chart the message is that you need to protect your knowledge which is related to your daily life things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis we also see job from the sixth house we also see intelligence from the sixth house that helps us overcome any kind of competition so one you need to leverage your knowledge and protect your knowledge as far as your job related matters are concerned or things related to increasing of your intelligence is concerned we also see depths and diseases from the sixth house so you need to be very much conscious and focused towards your overall health and mental well-being jupiter is going to be aspecting your 10th house by its ninth aspect and it's a very clear message that whatever the kind of job that you do or business that you do or any kind of work that you do or if you're trying to get yourself work this is the time for you to upskill yourself those things or kind of knowledge which you can apply in your work life which is your job your business or any kind of profession that you are into if you were to expand if you were to grow you need to either upskill or reskill yourself you need to do things differently leverage technology learn smarter ways of doing things pick up a course go for a formal education this could be a very promising year as far as work related opportunities are concerned because jupiter is going to expand those significations over the next few months overall i say it's a positive and a promising transit and i wish you the very best let's not talk about taurus ascendance for taurus ascendance what is this jupiter doing in this transit so as far as the results are concerned I want you to focus on this transit between May through September because this is the time when Jupiter will be direct in the sign of Taurus. On 9th of October, it will go retrograde for about 119 days. The results signification would be completely different during that phase. And when it goes direct again, it is going to be different. So about five months roughly, you could understand this video and how the results are going to be. For Taurus ascendance, Jupiter becomes the ruler of the 8th house and the ruler of the 11th house. So Jupiter for the Venus rule ascendance plays the role of a potent malefic and it is vice versa as well. For Jupiter rule ascendance, Venus is a potent malefic. So it's not a benefic graha as far as its functionality is concerned. But by nature, Jupiter is a benefic graha. For Taurus ascendance, they only get this opportunity once in 12 years when Jupiter is making a transit in their ascendant. Wherever Jupiter makes a transit, whichever house it does, it expands its significations. So it is going to expand the significations of your first house, of your ascendant, which is yourself, your intelligence, your knowledge, your overall body, vitality, your immunity, and how you carry yourself, how you present yourself, and most importantly, your thoughts as well. So it is going to bring in a lot of positivity as far as your ability to think is concerned jupiter for you rules the eighth house which is the house of transformation it is also the ayush bhava or we see longevity from the eighth house this is the house of change sudden ups and downs sudden decisions in life are seen from the eighth house it is also the house which represents across the sea or far off distant places or people who speak different languages Jupiter also rules the 11th house of gains, of expansion. 11th house also represents bigger enemies in life. And 11th Lord generally is not the most ideal planet of any ascendant because it could bring in a lot of competition and very, very strong uh, competition in your life. So Jupiter, by that aspect, is not the best grahas for Taurus ascendants. However, this transit is an exception because, as I said, once in 12 years in your ascendant your transformation is coming in the ascendant change is inevitable change is positive and change is very much futuristic because this is also a natural than yoga in transit your 11th lord is making a transit in the ascendant gains are coming in your life gain of knowledge because our brain sits in the first house so this is the expansion of your brain Perhaps over the next one year, what you would do, your decisions would be driven by deep critical thinking, analysis, research, knowledge, 
wisdom and new learning opportunities and this will help you make some very good decisions over the next few weeks because this placement of jupiter is considered to be the house where jupiter gains directional strength or it is like bali there are blessings of the devata during this time jupiter himself is the devata that is why we call him deva guru brihaspati he is the guru of devatas so it is going to bring in abundance of knowledge and wisdom in yourself now from here jupiter is going to be aspecting your fifth house seventh house and the ninth house i am going to be very much focused in terms of trying to make you understand the aspect of the fifth house and ninth house which is quite a positive aspect here now you must remember that you must protect your knowledge and wisdom during this time which is very much linked to your future towards your creativity so any creative skills that you develop during this time are going to go a long way and new knowledge related to ninth house new learning opportunities which are related to dharma which are related to either your religion or what you believe in your overall belief system or your lineage some of the things that we could say so find yourself a guru or a mentor or someone you could look up to a father figure someone who's mature enough so this is also an exceptional time for those who are working to maintain very credible as well as positive relationships as far as their supervisors or bosses or leaders are concerned and at the same time mend those ties with their father as well so this could also be an optimum time to do some of these things as far as this transit is concerned one thing which taurus ascendants need to be mindful of is because when jupiter sits in the ascendant it is the karak of expansion first house is your body as well so you need to be very careful of what you eat what you consume stay away from sugary foods stay away from oily stuff have a balanced routine have a well balanced diet and make sure that you exercise work out each and every day and this is also the time where you will develop mental peace in your life for those who are looking forward to getting into some consulting related opportunities or giving advice to others or starting your own business this could be a potentially favorable time in case your dasha and the dasha is supportive during this time in case you have a strong venus placed in your chart this time could also support in terms of marriage relationship and for those who are looking forward to settling down in life overall perspective what i would say is the results would be mixed because it will bring in transformation it will bring in sudden changes that you will need to cope up with but this is where you will be able to use your intelligence you will be able to leverage your wisdom into it and the power of knowledge that you will gain during this time would really go a long way because this jupiter does not have a lot of negative influence during this time thankfully and for that reason i say that it's in the ascendant jupiter is pretty strong and you should make the most of it and i wish you the very best now let's talk about gemini ascendants and how this transit is going to have an impact on gemini ascendants as far as jupiter's transit is concerned for gemini this transit is happening in the sign of taurus which means jupiter is going to be transiting in your 12th house which is the sign of taurus for the next one year for slightly more than an year on 1st of may jupiter is going to make this transit now as far as results are concerned you would look at the time from may till september this year because i am going to be covering this transit in three different phases one is the direct transit of jupiter because on 9th of october it will go retrograde for about 119 days then it will go direct again so there will be two different interpretations at that point in time because jupiter is going to act and behave very differently during that phase so this is from may through september for gemini ascendants jupiter becomes the seventh lord of those people who are opposite to you seventh house is also the house of marriage partnership relationship business but most importantly it is about those people who are opposite to you your outer world of event things and people we also see extroversion from the seventh house a seventh lord or a strong seventh house indicates how comfortable we are in terms of dealing with the outer world dealing with those who are opposite to us in terms of presenting ourselves in a group setting or a context in order to assess our overall leadership capabilities and how capable we are to lead others jupiter also becomes the 10th lord 
and tenth lord plays a very important role in career work profession it is the karmesha it is the most important kendra house therefore jupiter naturally rules the house of work for gemini ascendants this jupiter is making a transit in the 12th house of spirituality of moksha bhava we call it the moksha bhava 12th house is also called the vay bhava because it is the house of expenditure it is the house of losses it is the house of higher self consciousness your overall self awareness and what you think about yourself and how you perceive your own self and how you really gain deep level of self awareness we also see bed comforts bed pleasures and sleep from the 12th house because first house is yourself and 12th house is how we rest ourselves or how we sleep now jupiter also becomes badakesh for gemini ascendants because it is the ruler of the 7th house so it is the lord of obstacles from a transit perspective if the lord of obstacles is going through a weak transit or is placed in a weak manner 6th 8th 3rd or 12th house it is considered positive from an obstacles point of view because you can expect less number of obstacles or least obstacles in your life as far as certain matters related to jupiter is concerned which is knowledge wisdom dealing with those people who are opposite to you workplace related matters and certain decisions that you were to make fixing your daily routine fixing your sleep and some of these significations so it will create less obstacles that is for sure is concerned for the next one year so therefore if there was a delay as far as gemini ascendants are concerned in terms of job related matters marriage relationship any kind of harmony in life the struggle that they might be having in terms of dealing with other people or explaining their point of view that is likely to get much better over the course of next few weeks but from a transit perspective i would say this is not the best transit as far as from a materialistic point of view from a spiritual point of view it is great because jupiter is going to bring in knowledge wisdom as far as spiritual matters are concerned so if you were to pick up yoga sadhana any spiritual activities or practices such as meditation you will be able to do that with utmost sincerity and it is going to add a great amount of value to you meditation or yoga is the ultimate remedy for the next one year because this is where you will try and focus on overall well-being of your life so so i would say this this transit of jupiter is all about well-being well-being at your workplace well-being in your partnership relationship your married life and of course your overall life is concerned this should be the focus of the hour you need to take it easy you need to take it light if you work with people who are from different cultures foreigners or in foreign land if you're looking forward to making a move abroad particularly for work or for business this could be a potentially favorable time for you to move abroad and also settle abroad if not if you work in your home country and if you deal with people from different nationalities different cultures this could be a potentially favorable time to get some favors from these people to get some support from these people so make sure that you make the most of it during this transit jupiter by its fifth aspect is going to be aspecting your fourth house so that is the aspect of knowledge what you need to protect you need to protect that kind of knowledge which brings happiness in your life which brings a sense of fulfillment in your life and that is something which you need to understand and you need to protect it as well and jupiter is going to expand the significations of home related matters so you'll be more connected to your home or the homeland you would want to do things or improve relationship with your mother take care of your mother and at the same time you would want to focus on doing things that make you feel happy and content from a knowledge and learning point of view jupiter is going to be aspecting your 6th house by its 7th aspect so it will support a lot as far as daily routines are concerned and jupiter by its 9th aspect will be aspecting your 8th house so from a transformation perspective anything new that you learn should be very much focused towards your own transformation whether it is new way of doing things whether it is working out in the gym and transforming your body or your overall self whether it is picking up a course and doing something which you have never done before so this year could bring you an opportunity of doing something that you've never thought of doing it before so do not be surprised embrace this change 
welcome this change with open hands. Overall, I would say it is a mixed transit, mixed year as far as Jupiter is concerned, but I wish you the very best. Let's not talk about Cancer Ascendance. For Cancer Ascendance, Jupiter is an important planet because it becomes the ruler of your 6th house and the ruler of your ninth house. It becomes your Bhagyesha. And this Jupiter is making a transit in your 11th house of gains, of expansion, of wider social network, of your ability to influence other, ability to have an authority, have a command over others, rewards, recognition, and gains of all kind. A transit in the 11th house or placement of any planet in the 11th house is mostly considered good. And during this time, Jupiter is free from any negative influence most part of the time. You need to read this transit from May through September for about 5 months because after that, Jupiter is going to go retrograde for 119 days, then it will go direct. So this transit is to be understood in three different phases. Phase 1 is May through September that I am talking about now. This is your 6th and ninth Lord making a transit in the 11th house, the sign of Taurus that is ruled by Venus or Shukra. And Taurus is also co-ruled by your Lagnesha Moon. So interestingly, Moon also becomes your co-11th Lord because post 3 degrees, the sign of Taurus, it is Moon's Mool Trikona sign. Therefore, there is a dual Lordship in the sign of Taurus. And this is something which no one really talks about. The kind of lordship it has, it represents daily routines, depths and diseases, focus on health and well-being, competition. We also see intelligence from the sixth house. We also see job from the sixth house and things that you do in your day-to-day -day basis. We also see growth from the sixth house because sixth house is also one of the Upachaya Bhavas. It represents growth because 3, 6, 10, and 11 are Upachaya Bhavas. Jupiter rules your ninth house. Ninth house is the house of fortune, bhagya, father or father figure, long distance travel, guru, mentor, teacher, and your overall bhagya and how supportive your bhagya or fortune is in your daily life. Therefore, this lordship plays a very important role. This is now transiting in the 11th house. So 11th house also represents bigger enemies. So from the perspective of 6th lord going into the 11th house, this will be extremely supportive as far as overcoming competition is concerned, as far as coming out as a winner in terms of competition that is concerned, which could be at your workplace or in your life in general. Or if you were to take any competitive exam over the next one year, this is an extremely supportive transit because you are likely to have favors from the government, favors from the authority, from the higher authorities. This is also your ninth lord, the lord of fortune going into 11th house. So there's gains of fortune, which means that is very much supportive during this time. It is also a dhan yoga in transit which will bring you new opportunities to earn wealth and most importantly double this wealth as well whether it is wealth of knowledge or whether it is the real material income this is also something that jupiter is going to support during this time so it's kind of a happy days are back again kind of transit for cancer ascendance because you might have been struggling over the last few months as far as some of these significations are concerned this time Jupiter is free from most of the malefic influence and it is working in its optimum capacity. Jupiter by its fifth aspect is going to be aspecting your third house, which is a house of efforts, communication. Your knowledge needs to have a kind of protection which is linked to your communication or the kind of efforts that you make in your life. Now you must understand anything that you learn should be linked to communication. So. You learn, you give it back to people, you teach others, you share your knowledge. The more you share, higher will be the benefits as far as this particular knowledge is concerned. Jupiter by its seventh aspect will be aspecting your fifth house. So any mantras that you use during this time will be highly beneficial. And from a future prospects as well, this is going to bring in some nice opportunities for your future. Jupiter by its ninth aspect is going to be aspecting your seventh house. This means that your new knowledge, things that you gain now, needs to be either applied in your business 
or in terms of dealing with those people who are opposite to you and this is where your wisdom is going to play a role if there are people who are in the business of advisory consulting or who like to give suggestions or guidance or counseling or advice to other people they are going to thrive they are going to foster during this time if you were to establish a business or if you're looking for similar opportunities and this could very well be a side gig as well something that you do on the side because you could really become a very good consultant during this transit in case you have a strong jupiter in case you have a good dasha that is going through at this time learn upskill yourself those skills and knowledge that can help you influence others that could help you create that kind of impression on masses and dealing with masses and taking your skills and abilities at the next level your executive presence that is going to be put at test and that is something which is an important factor for you you need to be conscious in terms of how you present yourself to others how you talk to them and at the same time most importantly the kind of impressions that you create on others this is where you leverage your knowledge and your intelligence one of the things that you have to be mindful of is avoid any kind of overindulgence avoid extravagant spending or impulsive buying during this time use mantras the more mantras that you use during this time are going to be highly favorable this could be mantra related to your lagna lord chandrama or jupiter or this could be a mantra related to Lakshmi that could be highly beneficial for you during this time as a remedy what you can do is in the morning you can take some milk and mix turmeric or haldi in it and consume that on a day to day basis you can have little bit of that as well either in the morning or at night before you go to sleep this will be highly beneficial for you because you will be able to channelize both your moon which is lagna and jupiter in the right direction which will help you make some very good breakthrough decisions in your life overall i would say it is a positive transit and i wish you the very best now let's talk about leo ascendants for leo ascendants jupiter plays a very important role because it is the ruler of your 5th house and is the ruler of the 8th house it rules the sign of sagittarius and pisces this jupiter will be making a transit in your 10th house in the sign of taurus for more than a year from 1st of may 2024 till 14th of may 2025 now this video that i'm making the transit you need to understand for the next 5 months which is from may till september because on 9th of october jupiter will go retrograde for about 119 days and then in february 2025 it will go direct so there will be three different phases of this transit so the results that i'm going to talk about are for the next 5 months for leo ascendants it is your fifth lord the lord of your future purva punya the house that represents your children your future creativity speculation your overall progress because fifth house is the house of progress this is where the king sits it holds a kind of authority and position in your life it is the natural house of your lagna lord surya which is the ruler of leo that is the natural fifth bhava therefore we see positional success from the fifth house and your future endeavors are dependent on this house fifth house is also the mantra bhava we see mantras from the fifth house and how they are going to play a role whether mantras will be useful for you or not is also something which we see from the fifth house and the fifth lord and i've said this many time fifth lord is one of the most important planet for any ascendant jupiter for you also is the ruler of the eighth house of ayush of longevity of transformation sudden ups and downs so sudden changes in life is what jupiter rules for you those people who are from far off or distant places places that are across the seas distant lands uncertainty in life is also seen from the 8th house now this jupiter is making a transit in the 10th house jupiter is also one of the significators of the 10th house from a wisdom knowledge perspective yes 10th house is the karm bhav it is the house of your actions in the society we see work profession and job from the 10th house therefore it is the most important kendra because this is the house where we do things that help us sustain in this world survive in this world and what we do for a living now this transit of jupiter only comes 
once in 12 years it is an opportunity transit because jupiter does very well as far as placement is concerned in spite of being in an inimical sign of taurus you must remember that for the next one year most of the time jupiter does not have any negative influence or any negative association by aspect or by conjunction most of the time during this transit of course it will come in contact with a number of planets it will come in contact with your lucky lord sun with mercury with venus with mars with moon at different intervals and it is going to play a very important role however it does not have any negative influence of saturn rahu or ketu during this time so from a placement perspective it is moving in a very strong position it is your fifth lord that has come in the 10th house this is the year for career growth and expansion in terms of your work life and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis progress is going to be there if you have a strong jupiter in your chart if you're going through a favorable dasha under dasha this transit is going to bring in new and bigger opportunities as far as your workplace are concerned which could be potentially good for your future contrary it is also the eighth lord in the tenth house which indicates some sort of change as far as career or profession is concerned which could be very different as well so you might be given a new task or a responsibility or you might go on a secondment or for a new project or an assignment that is new in nature something that you've never done before which is again an opportunity for you opportunity to learn and grow yourself and at the same time making the most of establishing credible workplace relationships during this time because your wisdom and knowledge at work is going to be at use make sure if you're working or if you're in a job or a business you take some time to share your knowledge and wisdom with others so coach others train others share knowledge by conducting knowledge sharing sessions or how you can help and benefit other people at your workplace this is going to play a very important role in your growth as far as the career is concerned now by the fifth aspect jupiter will be aspecting your second house the house of income wealth from that perspective as well it is very supportive in case you're expecting an increment as far as your workplace is concerned you are likely to be favorable this year and it could exceed your expectations okay you must also remember that you need to protect your knowledge that you use to earn wealth or earn an income so this is where your energies need to be put at use by its seventh aspect it is going to be aspecting your fourth house so it is going to make you do things that make you feel happy or content take out time for your hobbies or your personal interest and your overall well-being should be also a priority this year by its ninth aspect jupiter will be aspecting your sixth house of daily routines we also see job from the sixth house and intelligence so again from an aspect perspective it is going to bring in new and bigger opportunities as far as your job is concerned from the element of knowledge because jupiter's ninth aspect represents those kind of knowledge which you need that is related to the matters related to this house so knowledge that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis that you can share with others that will help you manage competition that will help you in order to ensure that you have a better job or a greater opportunity during this time any mantras that you use during this time could be beneficial for workplace success and in order to identify the right mantra should be understood from your fifth house so if you use any mantras related to jupiter if you use om gurve nama or if you worship Pratyadi Devata of Jupiter, that is Sada Shiva. Or if you use a simple mantra of Om Sada Shiva Nama, this could be highly beneficial for you. And worshipping Lord Shiva could be very much beneficial as far as workplace related matters are concerned during this time. One thing that you have to be mindful of is stay away from any kind of politics that is there at your workplace. Focus on learning something new. Focus on building credible relationships. How? Through your knowledge and wisdom and by sharing that with others. This should be the focus of the hour. Growth is guaranteed if you put efforts during this time. For the first few weeks, you may struggle in order to make some breakthrough decisions as far as your work is concerned. But if you were to change your job or look for new or better opportunities in the coming months, this could be a potentially favorable time and a transit for you. 
and overall i say it's a favorable transit it is an opportunity transit and i wish you the very best let's not talk about virgo ascendance for virgo ascendance jupiter becomes the ruler of the fourth house and the seventh house the ruler of sagittarius and pisces and this video that i'm making is about jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus which is happening between 1st of may 2024 till 14th of may 2025 however there will be three parts of this transit this video is all about predictions between may and september for you because in october jupiter is going to go retrograde for 119 days and then it will go direct again in february 2025 and it will deliver very different results at that point in time and this is how this transit should be read now jupiter for you is the rule of the fourth house which is your sukha bhava the house that gives you peace inner peace your mother homeland and people from your home country are also seen from the fourth house things that make you feel happy things that make you feel content your comfort space is in the fourth house and that is the kind of role which jupiter plays for you jupiter also is your seventh lord which rules those people who are opposite to you we also see marriage from the seventh house we also see any kind of partnership from the seventh house business relationships and most importantly how you deal with other people in your life are carefully seen from the seventh house seventh lord or jupiter in your case also becomes the badakesh or the lord of obstacles this is something which should be understood for virgo ascendants this jupiter is making a transit in the ninth house ninth house of bhagya fortune father or father figure long distance travel it plays a very important role in ensuring that how our fortune is going to play a role and the kind of blessings that we have during this time. Ninth house is the Dharma Bhava. We see lineage from it. We see the powers that we believe in, the almighty that we believe in. Our belief system, most importantly, sits in the ninth house. Jupiter is also the significator of the ninth house. So from a transit perspective, a planet who is the significator of the house is making a transit in that house it is absolutely positive from that aspect but at the same time jupiter is also the lord of obstacles for virgo ascendants by that matter it might bring some hindrances or challenges as far as fortune related matters are concerned as far as travel plans are concerned as far as your higher learning or knowledge is concerned it would definitely cause some obstruction but that is something you can overcome. The remedy is in Venus. Look up to Venus. Do remedies associated to Venus, which is respecting women in your life, worshipping Durga, Lakshmi or any form of Shakti. You can also make the opportunity to keep a white flower in your house, particularly in the indoors to make the most benefit from this transit. From a placement perspective, Jupiter definitely is going to be very supportive as far as higher learning is concerned so this is an optimum time for you to take up a course or learn something new which you can either use in your business or in order to improve your relationship or this learning could really play a very important role in enhancing your overall well-being and your satisfaction in life so this is something that you should be doing over the next few months this could also be a potentially favorable time for you to look up to and have a father figure or guru or a mentor who could give you good advice during this time an advice that could bring mental peace an advice that is closely connected to your well-being in your life and enhancing that well-being quotient in your life jupiter by its fifth aspect is going to be aspecting your ascendant and this is quite positive and very powerful because the knowledge sits within the ascendant itself and jupiter wants to protect that most important knowledge which sits in your brain which you use in a day-to-day -day basis which you use in your life in order to become a better person so this is quite transformative for you in order to make the most of it by its seventh aspect jupiter is going to be aspecting the third house which is the house of guru upadesha or also younger siblings communication change we see efforts from the third house you take little efforts you will get more results the more efforts you put your results would be multifold at this point in time if you take the right advice of your mentor during this time by its ninth aspect jupiter is going to be aspecting your fifth house this is an optimum time for you to learn and upskill and gain something new that could be used for your future 
or that could be used for the development of your children during this time. It could also be linked to speculative industry, speculative markets, certain scenarios or things that are very much creative in nature because we also see creative pursuits from the fifth house. And love interest could also expand during this time. So this is also something which you could focus on during this time in case you want to build credible relationships or improve your existing relationship. This could also really foster and prosper at the same time. Overall, I would say it is a mixed transit, but at the same time, it is a significator transit in the ninth house. Jupiter is well placed there as far as transit is concerned. Look up to Venus in order to make the most of this transit as far as channelizing these energies are concerned. I wish you the very best. Let's now talk about Libra ascendance to understand how Jupiter's transit in the sign of Taurus is going to be playing a role for Libra ascendance. Now in this video, I'm only going to focus on the first five months of this transit. Jupiter is moving in the sign of Taurus on 1st of May and it'll stay in this sign till 15th of May 2025. However, in October it will go retrograde for about 119 days then in February it will go direct again. So there are three different phases of this transit. So the results I'm going to share are between May through September. For Libra Ascendance, Jupiter is a potent malefic and I have mentioned this a number of times. For all the Venus ruled Ascendants, Jupiter is a potent malefic because Jupiter here becomes the ruler of the third house and the sixth house. Third house of efforts, change, short journeys, younger siblings, the house of communication, uh, it also represents hands or those things that we do where we use our hands in our day-to-day -day life. Sixth house represents Shad Ripus, six enemies of the mind. It is also the house of depths and diseases. Sixth house represents daily routines and competition in the life. When both third lord and sixth lord pose a certain kind of challenge as far as the ascendant is concerned. This Jupiter is making a transit in the eighth house, which is the house of transformation, longevity, or we also call the Ayush Bhava. This is the house of sudden ups and downs or change that happens all of a sudden, like in a fraction of a moment, life changes through this house. This house also represents a cult, which is primarily related to hidden sciences, research related subjects or those subjects which have some kind of hidden message or hidden knowledge that is there in place. Eighth house also represents unknown or distant lands or places which are across the sea. Those people who are from a different culture or background, those people who speak a different kind of language. So Jupiter being the sixth lord for Libra ascendance is going to be making a transit in the eighth house in the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, which is the Lagna lord of Libra ascendance. Now, this is a Viparita yoga in transit because the sixth lord is making a transit in the eighth house. So I could very well say that the situation circumstances would be quite challenging in the initial part of the transit, but eventually you would emerge out as the winner. Also considering the fact that a potent malefic has gone into the eighth house, which is not so positive uh, you know, house as far as the transit is concerned, as far as Jupiter's placement is concerned. Now from a spiritual aspect, it is an excellent transit for Libra Ascendance because your 4th house, 8th house and 12th house which is the Moksha Trikona is going to be pretty much active. So anything that you do which is related to spirituality, meditation, yoga, sadhana or even prayers are going to give you multifold results. So you would need to uplift your spiritual quotient during this time for the next few months. Jupiter from the 8th house is going to be aspecting the 12th house by its 5th aspect, the 2nd house by its 7th aspect and the 4th house by its 9th aspect in your chart. Now 5th and the 9th aspects are special aspects for Jupiter which has 100% drishti. The 7th aspect only has 50% drishti. So the 12th house matters which is the 5th aspect. It is a kind of message for you that you need to protect your knowledge related to this bhava. This bhava is about vyaya or expenses and it also represents moksha, spiritual liberation or enhancing your overall self-consciousness, self-awareness 
and understanding yourself at a deeper level. So this is how you develop your overall self-awareness. This Jupiter is giving you a message that you need to protect your knowledge related to this house, knowledge related to spirituality, related to moksha, and try to curtail your expenditure over the next few months. Try to save enough money that you can because your expenses are going to be on the higher side. If you take any short journeys which are related to spiritual pursuits or dharmic pursuits or even leisure trips, that is going to bring a sense of joy and it will foster your overall well-being because Jupiter is your third lord making a transit in the 8th house and it is aspecting the 12th house. So this is the kind of message that you also need to understand. By its ninth aspect, it is aspecting your 4th house which is a Sukha Bhava. We see peace, inner peace from the 4th house, your homeland, those things which make you feel happy or content. The message is that you need to gain knowledge related to 4th house Bhavas. We also see primary education or schooling from the fourth house. So it could be a potentially favorable time for you to go back to your school, back to your roots. You need to focus on basic level fundamentals and that's something which you need to strengthen regardless of the kind of profession that you are in. You need to focus on learning the basics and getting the basics right. As a remedy, what you can also do during this time is support those kind of children who were to pursue school education and who are not financially capable of doing this. So if you sponsor a child's education or even if you contribute little bit towards it in the best of your capacity, this could be a potentially favorable remedy for you because Jupiter is the significator of children and Jupiter also represents knowledge and education and this is something which you can do in a very simple manner as far as the remedy is concerned. Its aspect on the second house will also ensure that your speech is quite favorable and positive during this time. Another message for Libra Ascendance is that this is the lord of change, short journeys, efforts and growth making a transit in the eighth house. Growth will only come if you transform yourself and the first few weeks are going to be difficult are going to be challenges so be prepared for it however you will come out with flying colors because the malefic influence of jupiter during this time will reduce to a great extent over the next few months i say that overall this is a mixed transit for you and i wish you the very best now let's talk about scorpio ascendance and understand how jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus is going to play a role for Scorpio ascendant signs or the moon signs. Now Jupiter's transit in my opinion is going to go through three different phases and there would be three different kinds of results over the next one year or so. So from 1st of May when Jupiter enters Taurus till about end of September, early October, it will be in direct motion and please watch the first few minutes of the video to understand more from a general point of view and important dates. Um, there, Jupiter is going to be direct and on 9th of October it is going to go retrograde and it will be retrograde for about 119 days then in February 2025 it will go direct again. So these will be the next two phases of this transit. So the results that I am sharing are between May through September for Scorpio ascendant signs or the moon signs. Now for your ascendant Jupiter becomes the second house lord and the fifth house lord. Therefore Jupiter plays a very important role in all the wealth related matters because these two houses are very important for wealth which is income which is seen by the second house. Jupiter also becomes your dhanesha. Second house is the house of consumption, things that you consume on a day to day basis and it is also the house of protection, those people who you would like to protect and protection starts with family or those people who we would like to protect from if we compare it to anyone else. We also see fixed income, savings and accumulated wealth from the second house. We also see speech from the second house. Fifth house is the house of future. It is the house of progress. This is where the king sits. It represents power and authority and Jupiter being the fifth house lord also becomes a mantresha or it rules mantras for you. Whether mantras will work for you or not is highly dependent on Jupiter. So it plays a very important role in anything to do with future. Fifth lord in my opinion is always a very important planet for any ascendant. This Jupiter is making a transit in the seventh house of marriage 
those people who are opposite to you seventh house also represents business seventh house also represents any kind of harmony in life and the the situation that is opposite to us and how we deal with that situation this is also the mark bhava because it is opposite to the ascendant now jupiter gains directional strength in the first house which is the eastern direction as well and it is gaining zero direction when it is in the seventh house or it is in the west direction by the aspect of this transit so from that point of view it is not a very positive placement for jupiter however it's a trinal lord making a transit in the kendra house it is forming a yoga in transit which is a rajya yoga therefore its aspects are going to be quite beneficial this is the second and the fifth house lord making a transit in the seventh house this is the time for growth as far as relationships are concerned as far as business is concerned as far as your future focused attitude towards your relationship towards your spouse or if you're looking forward to getting married this could be an optimum time over the next few months you sh should be able to find yourself a match in case your dasha and the dasha is supportive of this transit in order to gain wealth your spouse or partner is going to play a very important role and in case you have a business or you like to start a new business this could be a potentially favorable time considering your ongoing dasha and the dasha pratanta dasha is favorable and supportive during this time jupiter from the 7th house is going to be aspecting the 11th house by its 5th aspect first house which is your ascendant by its 7th aspect which will be mere 50% aspect and the third house by its ninth aspect now these aspects are very good because one it is indicating that you need to protect your knowledge you need to take care of things that you do or what you have learned in order to gain because 11th house is the house of gains this is your second lord and it is aspecting the 11th house so it will create opportunities for secondary or additional source of income in case you're looking forward to any kind of recognition any kind of increment over the next few months maybe june through july or august september could be a potentially favorable time for you to get that increment as well its ninth aspect on your third house indicates that it wants you to learn something new which could favor your growth and foster your communication so any learning that will help you communicate effectively that will help you cope up with any kind of change could be highly beneficial for you so if you're expecting any kind of change as far as your workplace is concerned as far as your relationship is concerned this is an optimum favorable time for you to learn and your learning needs to be very much linked to your growth so think about your growth you will understand what you need to do and how you need to do it now throughout the transit the blessing is that jupiter is aspecting your ascendant so it will ensure that you stay in a positive frame of mind all throughout this transit remember it's only in a few years that jupiter is aspecting the ascendant even if it's a 50% aspect you need to make the most of it in case you have a strongly disposed mangal in your chart it could be highly beneficial time for you as far as your overall personality is concerned your immunity is concerned and how you present yourself to others in case you wish to get into any kind of consulting business any kind of advisory or people could reach out to you to take help and guidance you can become a very good consultant during this time or a very good advisor so make sure that you that you equip yourself with enough skills in order to do some of these pursuits so this aspect will at least ensure that it brings some sort of wisdom and knowledge in whatever you share and how you deal with people who are opposite to you and these people could be at your workplace it could be your clients your customers or those who support your business or your work line overall i say it is a positive transit in my opinion but the first few weeks could be a bit challenging because it would take some time you would need to put a lot more effort since jupiter is losing its direction in this house however i wish you the very best let's not talk about sagittarius ascendants and how jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus is going to play a role for sagittarius ascendant signs or the moon signs at a physical level you must read this transit from your ascendant sign and at a mental level you can read it from your 
moon sign now jupiter's transit in my opinion is going to be differently at different times and i have come up with three phases of this transit so the first phase is from first of may till the beginning of october when jupiter is going direct and then 9th of october jupiter will go retrograde for about 119 days and then in february 2025 it will go direct again and those are the two times when jupiter is going to deliver results in a very different manner and of course i'm going to make videos on that too but these predictions are considered between may through september for sagittarius ascendants for you Jupiter becomes the Lagna Lord and the fourth Lord. It rules Sagittarius and the sign of Pisces. This is the Lord of yourself, your intelligence, your Dhi or you can also call Buddhi, your decision making capability, your overall body, personality, vitality. First house is the most important house because it is yourself and it also represents and rules your fourth house, which is Sukha Bhava. This is the house of your homeland your mother things that you do which make you feel happy which make you feel content it is your comfort space therefore jupiter for sagittarius ascendance becomes a very important planet and jupiter has been making a transit in your fifth house all the while it would have supported you through this transit in the sign of aries in a number of ways now jupiter is going to be moving in the sixth house in the sign of taurus your lagna lord Moving in the 6th house, which is the house of daily routines, Shad Ripus, it is the house of depths and diseases, it is the house of health and well-being. We also see job from the 6th house because that is something we do, we do on a day-to-day -day basis. We also see competition from the 6th house. Now, it is forming an important yoga, which we call Thi Mantra Yoga, which is the yoga for intelligence. So, you are going to be very much focused. The last one year, you might have been focusing a lot in your future related activities or future pursuits now it is time to enhance your intelligence enhance your learning and take up a course or two where you could really foster your learning and also your intelligence your overall emotional quotient your intelligence quotient and your social quotient so that is going to be the focus of the hour over the next few months for you this is also your fourth lord making a transit in the sixth house now Happiness would be in terms of fixing your daily routine. One of the remedy that you can do during this time, because it is your fourth lord that rules your home, it is moving in the sixth house, which is the house of competition and also daily routines. It is the best time and the optimum time for you to declutter your house, declutter your home, make sure that things are very much in an organized manner. If you have been delaying it for a bit, this is the right time. Try to find out things that are not in use and just discard those things give away those things donate it or discard them and you have to do it as early as you can because this is an ultimate remedy for you through this transit it could bring a sense of satisfaction peace and it could foster your growth as well because sixth house is an opachaya bhava and it plays a very important role in our growth through education through enhancing our intelligence from the sixth house jupiter will be aspecting your 10th house by its fifth aspect your 12th house by its seventh aspect and the second house by its ninth aspect now 10th house and the second house are receiving special aspects fifth and ninth which is a hundred percent drishti two six and ten are pretty much active the artha trikona it is all about career growth, job prospects, because it's in the sixth house. It is your Lagna Lord, your fourth Lord, the house of job. It is aspecting the tenth house, which is also Karmasthan. Again, we see job profession primarily from the tenth house itself. It is going to foster it. It is going to bring in new opportunities for growth, new opportunities as far as workplace is concerned. It could be very different as well compared to what you were doing in the past. And this is one area that you need to protect. You need to protect your workplace, primarily your knowledge related to your workplace. You might come across a situation where other people might try to demean your knowledge or might try to project a way that you lack knowledge but you need to maintain your self-esteem your self-confidence and try to influence others by your knowledge which is related to your workplace and you need to become a subject matter expert as far as your workplace is concerned try to protect it it is going to be aspecting your second house by its ninth aspect so anything new that you learn 
in this time it should be supportive towards your income should be supportive towards your family so these are the two things you also need to be very mindful of what you consume what you eat have a balanced diet have a well rounded routine try to work out each and every day and you need to eat right that is also one of the ultimate remedies that could be there during this time any spiritual activities that you do are going to be very supportive in terms of your workplace growth so if you meditate if you practice yoga if you practice spirit, if you practice physical stillness or any form of meditation that could really foster and bring in more opportunities as far as your workplace is concerned during this time overall i would say it is more of a mixed transit because your lagna lord and fourth lord is in the sixth house it is going to keep you very busy as far as your daily routine is concerned it is going to bring in a lot of changes as well you might not be very satisfied initially as far as your workplace routine is concerned but over the course of time it is really going to strengthen the job aspects and bringing new and bigger opportunities in your life and for that i wish you the very best Let's now talk about Capricorn ascendants and how Jupiter's transit in the sign of Taurus is going to play a role for Capricorn ascendants. Now the predictions that I am making in this video are applicable between May through September when Jupiter is direct and in October it will go retrograde and that will be a different kind of transit with different kinds of results. Jupiter will behave quite differently at that point in time and I'm of course going to be making a video that time as well, but you can read this transit for the next 5 months or so i would rather say that there is going to be three different phases of jupiter's transit and of course you'll hear from me a lot in the coming months for capricorn ascendants jupiter has an interesting lordship it is your third house ruler and your 12th house ruler third house is the house of change 12th house is the house of losses or expenditure third house represents communication it represents growth because it is the house of efforts and in order to grow we must put efforts in anything that we do it is also an upachaya bhava which is the first stepping stone of growth this represents change of any kind it also represents younger siblings and short journeys that we take 12th house is the house of foreign lands it's a house of sleep or bed comforts or bed pleasures this is also the house of self consciousness which is very important for our overall awareness in order to become a better person in order to become a very well aware and a learner person we should have a positive 12th lord in our chart uh, in, in terms of its placement and also from the perspective of transit this jupiter is making a transit in your 5th house of future progress we see king from the 5th 5th house because this is the natural rulership for leo we see power and authority from the 5th house which is very much related to future this is where the king sits it is also the house of creativity and speculative things in life and we also see love interest from the 5th house because it is the house of children and we are most affectionate towards the children it is unconditional love that is something which it represents and jupiter is also the significator of children so if in case you're looking forward to having child or planning for a child birth in case you're married this could be a potentially favorable time for you this is your third lord lord of change coming in the 5th house change is inevitable as far as your future is concerned and this is something you should be mindful of during this time jupiter in the 5th house does very well and for capricorn ascendants it is more of a neutral planet because of the kind of relationship it shares with saturn so it has been in aspect with saturn all the while now it will be away from its aspect and in the 5th house jupiter is going to protect as far as mantras are concerned so if you use mantras related to saturn related to jupiter or related to the planets placed in your 5th house and particularly if there is a benefic planet you must use mantras during this time to channelize your jupiter in an effective manner so in case if you have a venus or a mercury or even saturn placed there this could deliver you tremendous results even if moon is placed here this could give you very good results during this time from the 5th house jupiter is going to be aspecting the 9th house by its 5th aspect 11th house by its 7th aspect and the 1st house which is your ascendant yourself by its 9th aspect 
its fifth and ninth aspect are 100 percent drishti so the kind of message that jupiter is giving to capricorn ascendants is that you need to protect your knowledge as far as ninth house related matters are concerned which is dharma your fortune things related to your father or relationship with your father or your mentor or guru or any teacher that you have you need to protect the knowledge that you have learned from either your father or your teacher you need to be the protector of your dharma or whatever you believe in the almighty that you believe in you need to also be the ambassador of your dharma you need to talk about your dharma during this time the more you talk you will create a lot of positive energy and vibes around you during this time you also need to protect your higher learning so for example if you've taken up masters or higher education courses you would come across in a situation that you have to apply that you need to take it forward as far as your workplace is concerned in your own way and then it will be aspecting your first house during this time by its ninth aspect so anything new that you learn should be for yourself in order to become a better person so it could be with regards to becoming a better person at a physical level so new ways of working out new ways of exercise or new ways of doing things that could foster your physical wellness and also your intelligence things that you pick up or what you learn from others or by reading books or by practicing or joining a course that could help you become a more intelligent person that could help you channelize your brains during this time okay so one of the remedy that you must do during this time is in order to foster your brain is to eat almonds every day soak them in the water overnight and eat a few almonds every day in the morning this will really channelize your brain accordingly and it will focus a lot on your memory because your memory is going to play it this time is going to take take you back in past times in order to think about some decisions that you've taken and what your learnings have been and how you could avoid any such decisions or if they were good decisions how you could continue to use similar decisions in your life so there'll be a lot of reflection and back and forth during this time see this is a this this kind of a placement or a transit only happen once a year so any mantras that you use are going to be beneficial so that's the ultimate remedy for you which you need to understand besides that you could also say that you know in terms of those who have children so your focus will be a lot in terms of your children if you work with people from other cultures or foreigners or if you work in a multinational setup you could expect favors from those who are working with you at the same level or at junior level as well so that's something which you can very well expect during this time overall i believe and say it is a positive transit for you better than how it has been in the sign of aries and i wish you the very best now let's talk about aquarius ascendance and how jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus is going to play a role for aquarius ascendance over the next few months jupiter is entering the sign of taurus on 1st of may 2024 it is going to stay in the sign of taurus till 15th of may 2025 This transit is going to be in three different phases. This video that I am making, the results you can understand and analyze, and these results would be between May through September, because after that, in October, Jupiter is going to go retrograde for 119 days. It will deliver results in a very different manner. Now, Jupiter for Aquarius ascendants becomes the second house ruler and the eleventh house ruler. These two houses have something in common, and that common factor is wealth. The second house is the house of income. Eleventh house is the house of gains. Okay, so Jupiter plays a very important role in material wealth for Aquarius ascendants in terms of income, savings, your accumulated wealth, and also gains of all kinds. Jupiter, from a nature perspective, represents para vidya or spiritual knowledge, and that is the real wealth as far as Jupiter is concerned. but this jupiter finally is moving out of your third house where it has been maran karak for a while that means it loses its significance so wealth creating opportunities and knowledge and education becomes very much challenging during such transits it is moving out and it is moving to a much comfortable space as far as the house is concerned which is the fourth house your second house ruler 11th house ruler is moving in the fourth house 
fourth house of happiness this is the sukha bhava this is also the space where we feel most comfortable where we feel protected it is homeland the house of mother jupiter represents children it is the time to connect with your children and increase that bond and continue to strengthen that as well and also the kind of bond with your mother because this is where jupiter is transiting so it is going to expand the significations of the fourth house it is time for you to pursue your hobbies or the kind of interests and passions that you have which will be very supportive as far as your income making capabilities is concerned this is also a message which jupiter is giving that there has been a lot of change and ups and downs in your life but now is the time to focus on building your savings and venturing into some long term safe investments during this time which could render some very good results as far as your workplace matters or as far as your life is concerned jupiter from the 4th house will be aspecting the 8th house by its 5th aspect the 10th house by its 7th aspect and the 12th house by its 9th aspect so the 4th house 8th house and 12th house is pretty much active which is the moksha trikona spiritually this transit is very good so any practices that you pursue during this time whether it is yoga sadhana meditation or any spiritual knowledge that you try to gain is something which you will adapt or learn very quickly and you will be able to apply it in your life within a fraction of minutes and i say that with utmost confidence because this kind of change will bring in a lot of mental peace as far as this transit is concerned particularly to those who have a well disposed and a strong venus in their chart if venus is connected to your kendra or trikona or it is placed in any of these houses this transit could deliver very good results it will aspect the 8th house by its 5th aspect you need to protect your research skills and those kind of knowledge which you have gained by research or hidden subjects or even if you are aware of or learn jyotish you need to protect that knowledge because there could be a risk of losing that knowledge or having a lack of interest in that knowledge you need to continue to build on that knowledge jupiter is going to be aspecting your 12th house by its 9th aspect and this is where the kind of message for you is that your knowledge should be related to something which helps you build your self consciousness deeper self awareness so do a swot analysis for yourself understand your key strengths opportunity areas and how you can build on those strengths in order to become a better person and if you do that your workplace is going to foster and you will have new opportunities as far as work business or your profession is concerned because jupiter continues to aspect your 10th house though it is a 50% aspect but this aspect is going to be there throughout the time and particularly when jupiter goes retrograde for 119 days this aspect is going to be very very strong so your workplace would call for a lot of attention during this time okay and in my opinion it is a positive transit this will bring you new opportunities to earn an income try to create a secondary source of income through a work or something that you want to do or something that you would looking forward to doing this is the time to really put things in action it's a good transit and i wish you the very best let's not talk about pisces ascendants and what's happening with pisces ascendants as far as jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus is concerned now in order to read the results you would consider a time between may through september for this video and i'm talking about for the first 5 months before jupiter goes retrograde in october for about 119 days because results will be very different during that phase of the transit for pisces ascendants or pisces moon signs you can read this transit primarily at a physical aspect from your ascendant or at a mental aspect from your moon sign now interestingly you know as we speak and as i make this video in the process of making this video there is going to be an eclipse in the sign of pisces on the axis of pisces in virgo so this is a complex time as far as pisces ascendants or the moon signs is concerned this is your lagna lord the lord of yourself your intelligence your personality vitality your immunity and who you are in this world jupiter also rules the 10th house for you which is the house of karma it is the karmesh your profession what you do to survive or sustain yourself and it is all about your workplace your profession the kind of job or business that you are in what you do in order to earn money in order to 
लिव अ लाइफ सो इट होल्ड्स अ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस सो पाइसी असेंडेंट्स जोपटर हैज बीन वेरी वेल बीन ट्रांसटिंग इन द सेकेंड हाउस इन द साइन ऑफ एरीज फॉर्मिंग अ धन योगा बींग द सिग्निफिकेटर देयर बट नाउ जोपटर इज मूविंग इन द थर्ड हाउस जोपटर इज कंसिडर्ड मरण कारक इन द थर्ड हाउस विच मीन्स दैट बाय इट्स प्लेसमेंट और ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांजिट इट लूज इट्स इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ नॉलेज विजडम एंड अ सेंस ऑफ मेच्योरिटी एंड जोपटर इज द कारक फॉर वेल्थ विच इज द वेल्थ ऑफ knowledge and learning so you would need to put a lot more efforts to keep this knowledge a lot more efforts to learn new things and apply it at your workplace in order to become a better person so be prepared for it third house represents change communication short journeys younger siblings this time period could also call for an improvement or looking back at your relationship with your younger siblings in case you have any and any short journeys that you take during this time you might be in a situation where you you've been forced to go on journeys you've been forced to go on work related trips which are unnecessary which do not really excite you but you would need to take that during this time jupiter in the third house it's maran karak but this is the time where you need to find yourself a guru or a mentor or a guide now this person might suffer for you but it will be for your own benefit you can get some good direction or good guidance that you can apply in your life because jupiter's aspect are highly positive when it is transiting in the third house it will be aspecting your 7th house by its 5th aspect your 9th house by its 7th aspect and the 11th house by its Ninth aspect. So the seventh house aspect, which is there, which is the fifth aspect, is a hundred percent aspect. The message that Jupiter is giving you: you need to protect your knowledge, which is related to your spouse, which could help you in terms of building good relationships. So you need to protect either your marriage, your relationship, or dealing with those people who are opposite to you. So that's the kind of knowledge you need to hold and continue. it is aspecting your 9th house by its 7th aspect which is a mere 50% aspect but at the same time this will foster bhagya or fortune as far as work related matters are concerned situation could be adverse for you you might be in a situation that you might think oh i do not know a lot but this is a situation of humility this is a situation of being grounded and being willing to learn so you could go for some sort of higher education there or higher learning during this time excellent time to get guru upadesha and knowledge and lessons from a teacher or a mentor that you can apply in your life jupiter is going to be aspecting your 11th house by its 9th aspect so any new learning or knowledge that you gain during this time there should be one objective which is gains of all kind and also influencing others and that is how this gain would come whether it is influencing your bosses or those people who have an authority at your workplace this could be your customers as well that could be your, this could be your business partners as well and this is the kind of role which you would need to play learn something that you can leverage to have gains of all kinds during this time and how you could foster that over the next few months i would say it is a mixed transit because this time period would require you to put a lot more efforts five times more the efforts so be prepared for it mentally physically go all in dedicate yourself to it change is inevitable and that is the only thing which is constant and i wish you the very best so this is about jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus that is ruled by venus for the next one year and how it will have an impact on all ascendant as well as moon signs for the first 5 months i'm going to be doing this analysis in three parts so this was part 1 part 2 will come in mid of 2024 when jupiter would be about to go retrograde and i'm going to talk about in detail how this is going to work and the kind of results you can expect i hope and wish that jupiter's transit in the sign of taurus which is a natural house of consumption helps us all consume a lot of knowledge and new learning that could foster and channelize our wisdom and help us make very good decisions in our lives and this is the real wealth for people i hope and wish that jupiter's transit brings enormous amount of wealth in our life which is both in terms of knowledge and financially as well thank you very much and god bless you all